Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Professor Huka, and today we have something special for you. This here in this beautiful crate is Shisha Original, handmade water pipe, made in Czech and Slovak Republic. But we are going to talk about that later. Right now, unboxing. So here is a box, let's unbox it. At first, I'm going to shuffle this beautiful cover off the crate and you can see here is laser engraved Shisha original handmade water pipes, a web address, that's everything you need to know basically and there is a small slot, you're able to pull this cover off this box, okay, that much to the cover, fine. Now what is in here? Bunch of papers, here is a commercial which informs you about all the uh, models we currently have on the market. We have the Ignis, Shisha original Ignis with the beautiful golden decker in the porcelain. But about that later, here is a product certificate. If we bought actually this hookah, these fields were be populated, they are not, but you are getting each and every product with your own certificate, with the serial number, with everything, and this also pays as a warranty. Alrighty, and here, what is this? Congratulations! You have now become a proud owner of the luxury Shisha original water pipe. There is the general small talk about everything, but you won't actually need to read this if you watch our today's review. Okay, that much about paperwork. Now let me pull out these rips, which actually holds the hookah in place in the box. Okay, let's begin from the bottom. What is this here? This is a custom stand. It's massive wood, you can hear it, you can feel the weight of the wood, which is uh, equipped with a three brass stands over here. And here is a small depression for the hookah bowl to fit in. And this depression is for the LED light. Have I mentioned LED light? Well, ladies and gentlemen, here it comes. It's the standard LED module with the optics over the lats, so the lighting performance is slightly better than uh, with the cheaper models. The batteries which are inside are three AAA batteries, nine A's altogether. Just kidding. All right, there is a remote control. I'm not able to reach at the moment, but now let's go to the good parts. This, ladies and gentlemen, this is Shisha Original Ignis and the Golden Decker. <sighs> Let me tell you, whether you like smoking this hookah or not, or you don't like anything else about it, you have to keep it. This is beauty. Check those lines, check the glass and the details, the hose adapter, everything. It, it's just beautiful. That's just my opinion, but I think I'm being honest with you, you know, guys? Now, here is a bowl. It's custom made. It's made on a potter's bowl. It's not from the mold, right? There is a logo and the construction is just normal, it's standard, it's classic. You already can see we used this a couple times, four or five times with the heat management system, which fits right up top. Okay, so much to the bowl. Right now I'm able actually to reach the LED remote. It's standard red, green, blue. Goes right here. All right, what is this here? This, ladies and gentlemen, will be, if I'm able to reach it, this is going to be a wind cover. And this completes the landscape of the Shisha original. I have to tell you, it's kind of weird. This is the maybe the weirdest part of the whole Shisha original because it's a kind of more a design piece than a functional piece. I have not been able to put uh, it, for example, on uh, taller bowls because it was standing like this. And uh, interesting parts uh, are also these metal rods, sort of. Uh, initially, I was uh, worried that they are going to scratch the surface here, but no, they won't. This is made pretty well. So I'm keeping this up here. Okay, and what else do we got? The last piece to the Shisha original, which we have here, is actually the hose. The hose is made from the Italian beef leather. It's really soft, it's really pleasant to touch. And there is this wonderful wooden handle with this weird metal tip here. I don't know why, but it's just like that. You have to accept it. You know, you are buying something exclusive. Okay. And this, as it stands here, 
is the Shisha Original Ignis. Welcome to the Anatomy class on Shisha Original. This, ladies and gentlemen, here is a center shaft which runs all the way down the porcelain body and is equipped with the rubber ceiling up top, which sits in the porcelain bed, which is up here. So I'm just going to insert the center shaft down here, which is also equipped with the special slot here that enables uh, putting on just a tighter and a smaller bowls. Okay, fine. It ran all the way down. Perfect. Now, let me show you the underskirts of the Shisha Original. It's all made of the surgical grade steel. You're able to see a thread here, and this here is peaking the center shaft. This is the adapter which runs on the opposite side. All right. Now, let me tell you about the heart and the downstem of the hookah. This, ladies and gentlemen, is it. This is this, uh, the downstem with the integrated diffuser, and here are two slots for two bowls. Guess what? That's your blow of valve. Two bowls with a rather small diameter. One goes here, the other one goes in the opposite side, and this small, tiny piece of a sheet metal holds them in place, right? They are not able to fall off in any way. And it's all sealed by a rubber ceiling again. All right, it's all sealed. And now let me just assemble it all together. I'm going to just uh, gently hold the center shaft and screw it on. It's all threaded, so you're able to screw it together pretty fast and pretty swift. All right. Now it's sitting all together, and I'm not sure if you're able to see it, but here on this part, there is a serial number. Okay, now let me assemble it with its counterpart, which is a vase which is equipped with the uh, mount, which goes directly here, and it's sealed with the rubber sealing again. You are able to put it back together in like maybe three or four twists once you catch it. All right, so now you know how the, this hookah looks on the uh, inside. Well, the story of this hookah begins in the year 2014 in the small uh, capital city of Slovakia called Bratislava, where three guys met and decided they are going to make their own hookah. Well, now you may wonder why this hookah is so damn expensive. Well, for someone, yeah, but let me enlighten you just a little bit. For example, they uh, had to went through four cycles of the prototyping, drawing, AutoCAD 3D drawing and everything like that until you got the Shisha original Aristo. So you have to take that into account. Now, a special technologies? Yeah, sure, we do have that. For example, all the inner parts are equipped with the nano organic technology, which means you are not able to get any scunch or any watermarks on the vase, not even on the uh, inner metal parts. It's all eco-friendly and uh, maybe I smoke this hookah now for like 10 or 15 times, I'm not able to tell, but there is no single watermark down here. There's simply literally nothing. It's really well made. For example, now the solid porcelain body, it's made from a mold. This mold, along with its porcelain filling, weights up to 80 kilograms, which is like 160 pounds, which is pretty heavy. And you are not able to use this mold more than 10 times. You have to create new mold for every single 10 piece series, for example, right? So, uh, and uh, another curiosity, the mold has to be 14% bigger than the uh, Shisha original Aristo because that's the percentage. How much does the porcelain shrink when it is actually being heated up in the, in the porcelain forge? You may wonder what is the temperature in the forge? Well, it's somehow uh, somewhat 1420 degrees Celsius and this hookah goes through multiple heat cycles. You're wondering about the decorations, I'm pretty sure. Well, this is the top shelf hookah from the Shisha Pro selection. <clears throat> this is the top shelf hookah from the Shisha original selection, 
So this here is 24K gold and it is inside the glaze on top. You're not able to scratch it. It's heat resistant, so it's going to stay there unless you break it or something, but I don't recommend that. So now you maybe know why this hookah is uh, from the more expensive hookahs. <clears throat> But let me tell you, it's worth the money because you're not buying only the hookah, you're buying also the technologies and mostly, you know, the design. Smoking experience is pretty gentle with this hookah. We decided to test this particular setup with the basic bowl, which is uh, included in the package with the, the hookah, and we are using MIG Razor heat management device on top. Unfortunately, this means we are not able to use the cereal wind cover, which is in that case only for a setup with the cereal or a shorter bowl with the foil and the coals up top. As I've already mentioned, this hose with the leather is really gentle and soft to touch. It is really nice to touch it, but you have to be careful because in this white version, you have to be really careful on your hands. They uh, cannot be dirty because it will not stay this white. You're also able to impregnate it with uh, any kind of uh, impregnating spray. Now, just for a short while, let's go to the Greek mythology. You know Achilles. Achilles was a supreme warrior and was really good at fighting, but had one weak spot. It was his heel. Shisha Originals, Achilles' heel is the blow of valve. Let me show you why. Basically, unfortunately, you're not able to clear the vase of the smoke. But basically, then, you have to take into consideration that any open-chambered hookah has the same disadvantage as well. Well, I had to mention it because I know lots of you guys care about it, but it's just something you're buying this hookah with. Well, now let me tell you, it's a good thing that the developers included the diffuser into the downstem because otherwise this would be too loud for how gentle and nice this hookah is. I cannot imagine this being loud and bubbly like, for example, other hookahs. And now, just for a short while, let me come back to this beautiful wooden handle. You have to tell it's wonderful, but I honestly do not understand why this small metal tip is in here. I understand it's maybe for uh, one-time plugs, the hygienic plugs, but anyway, it could have been integrated into this. I honestly don't like this. It uh, kind of ruins the, the feeling I have about this handle, but it's something you can live with. But yeah, overall, very nice and very smooth flow. It's almost resistance-less. So uh, yeah, it's, it's really nice. I would uh, like to call this one of the better smoking experience you could get off the hookah. Okay, guys, now let me rate the Shisha Original for you. At first, I'm going to talk about the disadvantages. Then I'm going to review the advantages of uh, this particular hookah, then I'm going to tell you who this hookah is for and who is it not for. But in the first place, uh, as you can uh, uh, notice, the bowl has changed. Now we are using the SERP funnel. We decided to test also the uh, non-original bowl for this one. But let me get to it. So, the first minus is that if you would like to use uh, default uh, wind cover, you will have to use it either shorter or a cereal bowl with the setup with, uh, uh, with the foil and with the coals on top. Well, uh, to be honest, the wind uh, cover is designed only for that. 
Another thing is that basically you don't have another option to have uh, uh, some place to let your uh, heat management lid to heat off or to clear your coals. You will have to have a basket with the coals to do that. And basically you don't also have a place to uh, rest your tongs, right? Then the other thing is that, for example, the hose. It's wonderful, it's really well made, but you will have to use this forever because the port here is not designed to use your own hose. So basically, if you would like to have utilize another mouthpiece or something, you basically cannot. Well, the other thing is the purge valve. I've already mentioned it, it's basically non-functional. That's because of the hose port with, uh, through which you are blowing the air to the hookah is placed uh, in the chamber and the purge mechanism is above it. So basically you're purging just the chamber, not the vase with the main smoke. Basically this is a disadvantage for most of the open chamber hookahs and it is just like it is. I know that the constructors are already working on it and trying to get it done in the proper way. The drag of this hookah is also uh, kind of light. If you are into some uh, more restrictive dragging or puffing through the hookah, uh, basically the diameter of a downstem is a bit too wide. For me, maybe you will be into light drag of the hookah, that's okay. But in my point of view, that's a disadvantage for this hookah as well. Another thing is that this particular hookah is really heavy. If you are going to use it at home, you will have to do some physical exercise to get it into place you want to be it. And then there is a price tag, of course. This here costs about uh, 1,200 euros, but the basic model starts at 850 euros, which is still a pretty high cost. For, for this money, you are able to get maybe a better performing hookah, but come on, this is a not a performer hookah, this is a design piece, you know. Okay, now some pros. If you will uh, eventually decide to buy a Shishi Original, you will get a masterpiece of a craft. All the materials, the design and the ways that this is made is just absolutely amazing. Some of the ways this is produced are really unique on the market and you are not able to get a similar design. Uh, maybe you are able to get a Desval hookah, which price tag is way, way above this one particular. So, if you basically are looking for a performer hookah with the good ratio price to performance, you most probably won't buy this. You also won't buy this as your only one hookah. You need this as a contribution to your collection, you know, to be one of your hookahs. Maybe to, I don't know, impress someone or to show it to your new girl. I don't know. But uh, if you would eventually again decide to buy this one, it's going to be a kind of a jewel in your collection of a traditional hookahs like a KMs or something different. All right, guys, that would be it from my side. Uh, please make sure to follow My Hookah Place on Facebook and YouTube. You also can follow us on uh, Instagram. We will be really glad. And remember, my name is Professor Huka, and I'm looking forward to see you by our next reviews. See ya!